Welcome back to Celtic Fans TV, it's time for another starting 11 prediction. This time for tomorrow's semi-final at Hamden against Hibs in the Betfred Cup. Hibs come into this one after back-to-back 2-2 -back draws at home against Ross County and Livingston. Paul Heckingbottom still under enormous pressure. So, it's very much like the first game we had against them at Easter Road. He was under pressure then, so we've got to play a lot better than we did in that game. We obviously had a bad start, I with the own goal. And it really gave Hibs something to hold on to and defend in the game. So we've got to start this game much better. thought the other night was a good enough performance. We got the win in the end. Could have won by more. Um, but I'd like to see us start the game on Saturday with a little bit more intensity. And I think we'll do that given that it's Hamden big stage semi-final. Straight to the team. In goals. I expect Fraser Foster to continue, obviously. Now clean sheet for him the other night. Right back. This is a big one. We've seen Bauer play there on Wednesday. Didn't really impress. I think it's fair to say, speaking to people outside the ground, they seem a little bit underwhelmed with him. It's the big decision for Neil Lennon between El Ahmed and Frimpong. I think he's going to go with El Ahmed for the experience. We might see Frimpong uh, maybe next week against Mullerwell after the Lazio away game. I think he's going to go with El Ahmed for this one. Centre half, that pairing of Julian and Aya. I fully expect that to continue. I thought Julian might have been rested on Wednesday, but he wasn't. So I think those two will continue in there. On the left-hand side of the defence, we've finally seen a debut for Greg Taylor. I thought he played well. I thought he'd, 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 done, he'd done enough in the game. I'd probably give him a 7 a seven out of 10 if I was to rate him. I fully expect Bollingoli to come back in, though, and he'll play at left-back. I think um, Taylor played well and it was good to finally see him, but I don't think he's done enough to, to take that position away from Bollingoli yet. So Bollingoli at left-back. Into midfield, we've got a problem here, obviously, because Scott Brown came off injured. He said yesterday in his press conference that he feels fine, he was training and he thought it was just a precaution. Um, I believe Neil Lennon has said today that he was struggling, so he's a doubt for tomorrow. So I'm going to play Olivier and Cham in alongside Callum McGregor. I think that's what Neil Lennon will do. I know a lot of fans to think back to, to last season when we played so well with McGregor, Christie and Rogic uh, as that midfield three. I would, I'd like to see that in this game as well, but I think Neil Lennon will go with Cham. So in Cham, McGregor, in front of them, Ryan Christie. Good to see him back in the team the other night. Um, thought he was positive, always looks to make things happen. We know what we're getting from him uh, now. And I think Rogic gives us a good option off the bench later in the game. On the right-hand side, James Forrest, a new four-year contract. Another goal for him the other night. So he's in good form this season. Um, I think that might even be him into double figures in terms of goals now or getting there. So he's playing well, and on the left-hand side, the other goal scorer, El Yunusi, has five goals and nine for him now. So, again, I'm, I'm really impressed with what we've seen from him. I think he's going to be a big player for us this season. I think it is going to be interesting to see where Mikey Johnson, uh, has, how his position in the squad is impacted by El Yunusi's arrival. Um, is Neil Lennon going to rely on El Yunusi? Um, week in and week out for the majority of this season or is Johnson going to be able to push El Unice um, and give us, give us uh, two options there I think Johnson in the early part of the season was absolutely brilliant so that's an interesting one you get to see how it develops I think Johnson must be getting back to full fitness now um, and up top it's going to be odds and Edward not his best night the other night he obviously didn't get his goal he missed that brilliant chance in the second half as well um, but that's a big game it's at Hamden and we know he loves these sort of games. So Edward up top, Bio obviously looks like he needs surgery. So again, as I said the other night, that's a position we really need to look at in January. That's the team I've went with for tomorrow. Like the video, comment with your own teams below. Who do you think will start at right back? Will it be El Ahmed or Frimpong? And what do you think will happen in midfield? If Scott Brown is out, who should replace him? Tell us in the comments below. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We're creeping ever closer to that 20,000 mark and that'd be a huge, huge milestone for us. Hopefully we can get there this weekend. We'll see you tomorrow at Hamden Park for all of the post-match reaction. Thank you.